home from the gym. Um, I didn't bring the camera today to record, but probably wouldn't have helped because a lot of this stuff, um, Joe's really like spotting me I guess like you know making sure I don't fall over because that has happened before and kind of we really push some some stuff to do some deep squats with the weight bar and um, leg press with 90 pounds um, I usually do the leg press machine and I've done 90 um, I think I did one I did 90 one time before but I usually stick to 80 so that was woof and then, um, what else did we do? Lunges, hamstrings, um, and then a little ab work. So good, good workout today. Um, I was laid out on the floor, honey, after it was all said and done, child. But, um, now I'm back home and it's a Friday night, but I am turning down up into this house of cards. I'm about to start binge watching it. I'm pretty sure I will get through it the entire weekend because I ain't got nothing else to do. So I'm going to do house of cards, watch house of cards. I'm excited. Um, I've been waiting for it to come back. So I'm going to do house of cards. I have my um, post-workout meal here. That is the um, chicken, rice, and broccoli from the meal prep. So this is my last meal prep meal. And, um, so Sunday I'll, I'll get something together. I'm not sure what I'll do for the, for next week. Um, probably go back to ground turkey because it's the chicken and fish today. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's Sunday and, uh, you know, guys know what that means. The meal prep day. So I'm headed to Target, my favorite store to do some house shopping and, um, you know, get the, get the, um, meal prep stuff so I figured I'd bring you guys along with me so yesterday was boot camp and I I don't think I've ever been so tired in my life I literally was asleep at like seven o'clock like clocked out at seven o'clock and so I'm re-watching a whole bunch of episodes of House of Guards today because I missed the guy fell asleep on it so um, I'm probably gonna finish it today. I've gone through maybe 10 episodes so far, so oh, and it's really, really good. I'm not gonna tell you what happened, but it's the House of Cards weekend, so if you have Netflix, yeah, it's out, and I know everyone's talking about it and stuff like that. So, but I won't ruin it for you. That is proper Netflix etiquette. I mean, you gotta give people like a good couple of weeks to get through it, just because not everybody has a whole weekend to sit on their couch and watch it. So, um, I didn't really do anything this weekend, so I had a lot of time to do that. Um, and I've just been, you know, oh, I put a whole bunch of stuff on Poshmark. Are you on Poshmark? If you are, my username is just Melody, and I have a whole bunch of, um, clothes that I either never wore, um, too small, too big, all kinds of stuff. Most of it still has tags on it. But they're all brand new. Nothing worn. Everything's brand new. I just have never worn it. And just trying to clean out my closet and get rid of some stuff. So you guys can go in there and maybe there's something to your liking. Oh, and then I was experimenting. I bought some curl formers a while ago. Like, mm, maybe almost a month ago. Um, or maybe not a month. Or maybe it is a month. I don't know. But it was a, it was a while ago. And so I finally, since I had... You know, it was the end of the week, and I went to go wash my hair. I said, well, let me try these curl former things. And it took about an hour to put them all in, and I did use setting lotion, so the curls are, are like, holding up really well. I slept with them. You don't have to. You can sit on the dryer, but I slept with them, which isn't the most comfortable thing, but it was definitely more comfortable than flexi rods. Flexi rods are just, like, hideous. Like, it's horrible. It's terrible to sleep with flexi rods like a whole bunch of them oh my god it was terrible but the curl formers because they're a little bit more flexible and softer and they, it wasn't as bad so i um i was able to sleep with them it wasn't the most comfortable sleep but i was able to sleep with them um and so yeah i kind of like the the thing i just kind of pinned it back because i hadn't figured out like a style situation so um, yeah, so on the way to Target and we'll do a little shopping. So these are bomb. These are only $3.50 bomb and single serve. Okay, so while I'm in Target, I gotta use cartwheel and the best way to do it is to scan as you go.
twenty dollars already on my red card. I love my red card and see, brought it all the way down to two one oh two and it was five dollars off with my red card and then the other cartwheel stuff all through that. All right, so we're gonna get this meal prep party started. Got green beans, chicken breast, ground turkey. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna try to do some, those little breakfast um, muffins with eggs and I'm gonna do spinach and um, ground turkey, a little bit of cheese. I might I'm do some with feta, some with this Kobe Monterey Jack. Um, and then, of course, some brown rice and broccoli for some stuff. So I'm about to get this party started. Okay, so this episode of Kitchen Experiments is the egg muffin breakfast little cups that you can make on the go for the week. Because I'm not really good at making breakfast. So if I'm or eating breakfast, really, I usually just drink coffee and keep it going. And that's not it. I need to eat, start my metabolism going so I am going to make these to see if it will help because you're going to make them, put them in the refrigerator, warm them up in the morning, and they're good to go. And we're going to turn the oven on. It's preheated to 350. It's ready to go. So I have my pan here um, to spray it. So I'm going to use some of my olive oil spray from um, Trader Joe's. Let's see. I think I should have enough for six. And I'm using egg beaters uh, instead of real eggs. I use egg beaters before in there. It's just fine. Doesn't taste like real, real eggs, obviously. It tastes kind of like eggs, but it's good enough. I don't really. Oh, I messed up. I don't know if this was going. It was a little feta hat. So I had a little Mrs. Dash garlic and herb because, well, I mean, you can't go wrong with a little seasoning. And it's all free, so it's just a little garlic and herb seasoning. Thanks. Well, don't you know, my microwave just went out. It's not good. Chronicles of being a homeowner. So I'm gonna try the faithful let it sit unplugged for a while and see if that fix it. And then if not, I'll have to call my home warranty. It was right, I just was cooking the green beans and that was done and then I just opened it and then it was off. So I was about to do the brown rice, but Microwave's broken. Little egg muffins are done and um, kind of spilled over a little bit. So I guess I put a little bit too much in, but I don't want to waste no eggs. Egg beaters at least, but they kind of shrink afterwards. So it's all right. Might not look pretty, but as long as they taste good. So I have my carrots and this is the Bolt House Yogurt Ranch, which is actually pretty good to say it's not real ranch. So I made a couple of these as snacks. The muffins I have here for breakfast. Um, and then, so this one has the uh, ground turkey. I'm going to, this is the um, individual size, which is fine because I have a microwave work, I can use that. Um, and then I'm gonna have the quinoa with that. So these are this microwave that work with that. Um, and then, this one has the brown rice, green beans, and um, ground turkey. And this is the brown rice with the wild rice and a little carrot and broccoli in it already. And then this one, same thing. And so I have some ground uh, turkey here. This one's a little lighter because this is ground turkey breast. Um, and then I have some broccoli and then one of the sweet potatoes will go in here. Um, and then I have rosemary potatoes, green beans, and chicken. And then chicken and green beans and another, I'll use the um, sweet potato. So um, that's it. I'm going to go back to watching my shows. Oh, yeah, it's Real House of Wives of Atlanta. So I'm going to go watch that. 
and chill out. Um, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.